welcome back to another video. I just finished eating my breakfast, which I'm gonna show you, but I also filmed a lot of stuff for my morning routine as well as my abs workout. So I'm gonna show all of that to you. I'm just gonna bring you guys with me today and let's have some fun. It would mean so much to me if you would hit this video with a like button, maybe write a comment below for some support and click the subscribe button for more videos. The first thing that I do right when I wake up is that I think of something that I'm grateful for. I then go through my coffee so that it's ready for after my meditation. Good morning guys. I just turned on the lights, but typically it's just completely dark in here. I'm about to do a little morning kundalina energy and release and it is 4.41. For a full year now, I've just meditated every day, but recently I started incorporating some more kundalini. And so I'm just gonna do a little bit of breath work. I think this is like 13 minutes and then I'm gonna end up with a 10 minute meditation. And as you can hear, my coffee is brewing over there. Welcome, Satnam. it is 5 15 so it was half an hour today often most of the time I just do like 15 to 20 minutes I would say but today I woke up like at a time where I did have time to go a little longer so now I'm gonna pour myself a cup of coffee and journal which is like oh I love journaling it's incredible and in case you're wondering I didn't remove my makeup from yesterday so it's like Smushed. I just finished my upper body workout and now I'm ready for abs. And abs, I'm gonna show you. I feel a little arm pup going on and the upper body workout that I'm doing at the moment is one that's going to be on my app I'm super excited it's going to be something that you can actually do at home and um, as you can see I am working out in this storage room because our gym is still closed so this has been my gym for the last long time but let me bring you along on my app workout yet but I just wanted to say that when you go into a workout your mentality and your mindset going into that workout of how hard you're gonna push is like what's gonna make the entire difference like you could do the exact same workout as someone else but get completely different results it really really depends on how hard you're pushing yourselves are you using the right amount of weight for the workout that you're doing are you really squeezing the working muscle as you're doing the workout and are you like going past that point where you feel like you want to stop like are you continuing to push yourself that's really what makes the entire difference let's get back to it okay, for this next exercise i take a band i step on the band like this and then i put the plate right here and as you can see i have my band underneath the plate so i go all the way down and all the way up and really squeeze my obliques as i do this it's easy to cheat this one, but you want to make sure to really do the full range of motion. Adding a band obviously just makes it a little bit harder, but you can definitely just use a weight or just use a band if that feels better to you. I am done. Let's see. So I make sure to take rest 
periods in between why is this so blurry as i said i also did upper body before i did my abs and and you can see that very soon too in my app which i'm so excited about i've really been following the workout program from my app lately and i can definitely see some nice results i hope you want to check it out soon it's time for breakfast Artlist IO protein intake from protein powder is going to be done for today because I try to be more aware of not uh, having too much protein powder more than not more than two scoops a day just because it is processed and I like to get my protein from different sources I'm gonna go sit and just do a couple of posts for today on Instagram and TikTok, and then I have a bunch of videos that I need to shoot today before I head out for our dance class I'm gonna turn this into a little home studio in three, two, one. So I've got my notes on my computer and then I got these lights from Amazon. And then I'm just gonna put my camera on this stands right here. Start my little home studio videos. And that when I put in this consistent hard work that things are gonna slowly happen, that I need to take just one slow step at a time and that I need to remind myself of what feelings and emotions it is that I want to achieve. Also helps me a lot calling out my bullshit and realizing that I'm making excuses for why I don't want to put in the work. When I realize that I'm making excuses, I decide within myself that I don't want to be that person. The only person that I'm really cheating is myself and the things that I can do in life. And I know that if I put in this hard work now, I'm only going to get stronger. We have to really realize that we have to become friends with the uncomfortable and friends with the things that we sometimes don't want to do. I'm still shooting, but I just wanted to show you my little snack I got here. It's just some um, salad with some chicken. And then I'm gonna get back to shooting. I finished shooting and now I'm just walking around cleaning up. I'm gonna prepare some food. I think I'm just gonna make some wraps with different veggies and some sort of protein. I don't really know yet. And then pack some food with me so that I can go dancing. And while I'm doing that, I am listening to an audiobook about sports psychology, which is something I've been really into lately so that I can use that while I'm dancing to not limit myself of what I'm capable of and just to train harder so that's fun. While I was driving here I was listening to The Brave Athlete which is one I just started today and the other books that I've read this year are I just started The Mindful Athlete, but i rather listen to The Brave Athlete. And then I read Atomic Habits, The Art of Mental Training, The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster, The Compound Effect, The Mental Toughness Advantage, and then Grit, I read this year as well. And then all these others are like from before. I guess I've read quite a lot, or I guess listened to. Um, there's no light here. Um, yeah, I listen to quite a lot, but I listen to them on speed. So I go through them really quickly and when I drive to dance, it takes like an hour and a half and I do it while I clean and while I get ready in the morning and sometimes while I work out, depending on what type of workout I'm doing. So it just like, I go through them pretty quick. I love it. I can just highly suggest all the books that I've read depending on what you're like trying to 
grow in right now. Those are incredible what I am at dance right now. I've been snacking a little bit on the drive. I'm also bringing snacks with me because it's a three hour, it's like two classes that are an hour and a half. So just to make sure I also am drinking BCAAs and I'm excited. So I'm about to go dance. Oh. about crazy stuff <laughs> just life it's so beautiful and a magical and we're really sweaty because we danced for three hours it was awesome it was awesome <laughs> back home and I just wanted to make sure you know that today was obviously like a very active day and I don't work out as much as I did today every single day like three hours of dancing and a full workout it's not like Yesterday I had a rest day and tomorrow I'm only doing like yoga and then I have one dance class So it's not like this every day, but sometimes it is and I love it But then I also love uh, having the day after be like a yoga class in the morning online and then um, a dance class later This is dinner We got some sweet potato fries and chicken and asparagus And what are those called? Brussels sprouts? Yeah Yummy Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I am just grateful that you're here. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you again very soon. Bye.